In this video, I'll talk about your condensing fundamentals as well as going through some of the basic patterns. To start off, um, one of the most important things is your flick. So the flick is just the motion of your hands as you hit the beats, as you hit your ictus. Your ictus is your returning spot, so I'll just give you a 4-4 four, four pattern, for example. You can see it's the point where my hands always return to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. My hands always come back here. Um, your flick, again, I mentioned this in the um, posture video where you just have your palm slightly showing so that when you flick, your fingers come down and cover your palm. Your flick is a completely downward motion. There shouldn't be any going up or anything, just really light tap. Um, you can practice this if you get like a music stand um, and just let yourself tap it. Make sure it stays right in the same spot. And same thing again, using a music stand, you can go through your patterns and make sure you're hitting the same spot going down to the same area. Just to talk about hands for a second. When I took lessons from Mr. Wagner, he taught me to do the um, like baseball glove catch type thing, where you bring hands together, make a little triangle, a little bit of high throw back there. <laughs> um, you can do that and have that same shape where you go outwards, point your fingers out. Or you can do what Sassy teaches you and bring your hands together so they're always facing front. Um, other one really works. Um, I think I mostly used the hands together concept. I think it looks most clear. Um, and it's easiest to track your hands as they return to the, like this. But either are fine, just as long as you have a clear, consistent feel. As you go through your patterns, you should think about having a consistent velocity as you go through the beats. Um, distance over time is something that they really, really stressed in Sassy. Um, so you're not doing anything like where you're speeding away or accelerating to the downbeat, although I accelerate to my downbeats, um, especially on ones, just to give an emphasis, I guess. Um, but equal velocity is generally the standard thing. Going through your basic tools to construct your patterns, um, we have our tap lift and we have our slants. Tap lift goes pretty much, it's always going to be your one. Um, I'll show you. They'll show you this exercise in Sassy, by the way. Um, it can also be used for 2-4, although we do use a different pattern. So, one, one, one. And you see there's a little bit of a rebound when I hit that pattern. Your rebound should be about one third the height of your one. So I'll show you again. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Your slant patterns are going to be what occurs when you go in or out. Um, pretty much in any other pattern except for one, <laughs> you'll be using that. Um, so doing your in slant, one, one, one. Same thing as a rebound, your height should be one third to one half the size of your one, just to make it really clear so that when you look from the side, there's a really distinct one happening. One, 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 one. Uh, going on your outward slants, again, same concept, you should be going out. One, 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 with a whole one third, one half size. Um, now I'll go through each of your what patterns. Um, I'll have my metronome running at 100 BPM just for reference, um, and I'll tell you the patterns before I do them. First is 2-4. It's just like the slant patterns I just showed you. It goes outwards. Pretty basic. Next is 3-4. You'll see a rebound, and then you do the outward slant. Next is 4-4, four, four. you do a rebound, inward slant, outward slant. Again, you use this one all the time, so you want to make sure you have this mastered. Just to show you some more of the more complex um, patterns, I'll show you 5-4 and 6-4. 5-4 is just like 4-4, four, four, except there's an additional inward slant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Next is 6-4, which just like 5-4, there's an additional slant, but it goes outwards. I will say that for 5-4 and 6-4, sometimes the score will call for different um, combinations of patterns. Um, like for example, if it's 5-4 and there's a half note followed by a dotted half note, you would want to use a 2 and then a 3 pattern just to show there's a change in the note kind of thing. Um, same for 6-4. Uh, if you watch Mystify or looked at that score, you can see that we used 4 plus 2 and 2 plus 4, again, just because that's what the score called for. Now I will show you the dry fundamental conducting patterns. Um, we mostly use these for BPMs of 150 or higher. Um, when you think about these, think about it as being like a stop time pattern. You freeze once you hit your beats and then you move really quick. <laughs> um, the flick isn't super important here. I usually just flick lightly. Nothing too um, obvious as wet, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you those conducting patterns. The metronome is at 160 for reference. 2 4. 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 